uh, hello soon raj uh, today i'm going to demonstrate how to find good repositories on hector fest and uh, like uh, make sure before watching this video you have already registered for a uh, hector fest and now you are ready to contribute so first of all let us look at how to find uh, repositories then we will look at how to start contributing on it okay so there are many ways to contribute on a repository or or sorry for finding repository then uh, first of all we will go to explore and uh, we will look at uh, some some of the ways of finding the repository first of all you will go to explore then you will go to topics then in topics then you can see something like uh, Hector Fest 2022. Just click on it and uh, mark star over here. In my case, it is already start, and you have to start here. And if you see, then you will go to explore again. Then you can see in your dashboard here. Then there are two topics. Then you will go to Hector Fest, and uh, you can see there are many repositories here, and you are ready to contribute on them. So the question is, there are many repositories, right? So how to find which is suitable for you? Then you go to here, languages. You find, for my case, I am interested on TypeScript. Then I go to TypeScript and here, I have got the TypeScript repositories. You have developer hotmap and Grafana and all. I don't know what these things are. And to know, you have to visit on them and next.js nest.js is a javascript framework and uh, and many more and uh, and here it is that is the one way that is how to find the repositories and let us look at some other ways as well then go to issues and uh, go to here search bar then delete what you have yourself level then Or faced and level on all right, let me go for safe. Yeah, so you can see there are many repositories has popped up, and uh, here is like uh, GitHub cards, and there. Are just uh, go to any of them. Go to Foshish Pokemon and uh, and here it is. Like whenever you open a, open an issue, like for example, good first issue. Let's open it. And we can see there is a description. Add a Pokemon card, you can find the steps to it in the readme section. Happy learning. Okay. So before contributing to any open source project, just go to the directory and you can see the readme file over here readme file is already opened and you can see how to contribute on the repository uh, many times there are, uh, there is a, like additional repository uh, additional like file this contributing dot md but uh, most of the cases there are only one file that is readme dot md and you can find like how to contribute on them and uh, how to set up the project on your local environment and that's all then go back to like uh, once you have visited the project and all and uh, all the codes code files then you can go to go back to your issue and you can see that uh, you have to like uh, ask them if you you can if you can work on this issue or not like for here like um, for example the person has asked may i work on this issue i have experience with their I mean, html cases then like many person many people have uh, requested here then no need to wait for a signing you can raise the pull request after adding the card thank you so like you can get a reply from them uh, once you get the reply then you can start working on them yeah so there is uh, like uh, for youtube a py design like uh, here i like commented here 20 minutes ago then YouTube, like, can you assign me this work? That is how you comment. This right, just write comment over here, and you just comment it. And um, let's.
like uh, for now there are many spam repositories and all for example like python programming multiplication table of any number so you might think why would someone want me to write a program which multiplies the table or multi which shows multiplication table and all but uh, for your information let me tell you these things are like spam repositories and once the uh, official hector phase starts like this whole repositories will be marked uh, as uh, spam repositories so you don't have to worry about it so one request before uh, contributing on any random repository make sure that this is reliable repository and it is an actual repository it is like uh, not so cheap things like these things for example these things python programming for print multiplication and all so yeah so this is one thing and uh, uh, you can join the discord channels as well discord channel and uh, here is a channel for project sharing where various uh, organizations share their projects and you can start working on them with the, they share the projects with the little description here for example um, here you can see uh, I, have, I set up a project for beginners at github.code it is a complete beginners worth just starting and uh, like beginner level project on react next js you know. if we go here then you can see the project the whole code base and if, uh, as I already suggested before contributing to any projects just go to their readme file and uh, so that you can make sure that you set up the project on your repository on the local system and you can go to issues then you can see here like this person has asked if I can work on this issue or not then he got the reply go ahead like this and once you get the reply go ahead you can start contributing on the project and you can give the pull request okay. That's it.